Welcome to another episode of 4046. I was hoping with, well, to improve my editing skills to a point um, where I would have been able to splice some footage that I took locally. Um, however, that footage I don't think <laughs> is good enough. Um, being a drizzly day and everything, it's sort of put a dampener on everything. But, alas, do not be worried. Do apologise for the uh, appearance of my modem. Um, I've had to. My Wi-Fi's gone on my laptop, and I've had to connect it directly to the laptop. And not having such long cables, unfortunately, it's almost like a parrot on my side. Anyhow, this is the first coronation we've had in this country in probably seventy odd years. Almost, not quite 70 years, but almost 70 years. The atmosphere locally where I live has been pretty good. Union Jacks everywhere. Um, as the king um, presides, even though this does po cause points of contention over Commonwealth countries such as Canada, New Zealand, and Australia, and then directly influences Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland also some other territories as well left over from the colonial days but we're not here to deba debate colonialism as that is a very touchy subject and almost in the realms of politics so we'll steer clear of that as well as possible the next one in succession would be his son William and obviously long may Charles take his place as king the uh, one of the direct changes of that is changing the national anthem because it used to be God save the queen now it's God save the king it, it then also highlights how badly everybody knows the song because not everybody knows the uh, national anthem that well um, as it's quite quite a long national anthem I suppose to put it anyway sorry about that I keep trying to move the camera but uh, that should be fine I have started looking into the software um, I'm gonna be at least putting titles sequences on the front of my videos this probably be the first one to have one unfortunately as um, until I get a laptop later this year I can't necessarily produce the, the videos I'd like to create but each video I make is a learning experience in itself so as I do more and the format of the videos unfolds then we'll get something in time I mean the, um, I would like to put pictures and things in there in the videos I'm not quite sure how to do that yet but in a future video um, that I'm planning to do I'm hoping at least if I can't necessarily put pictures spice pictures into the videos then I will uh, try and find reference material so that at least you can see what I'm talking about. Um, it's always good to have a plan B. The only problem is all that reference material currently is at my parents' house, but that's not uh, a major worry. But as I said, um, the, there's, there's various things going on around the country. The coronation takes place very shortly or will be completed very shortly as I'm not actually watching the coronation as we speak not being unpatriotic it's just just a lot to assess um, there's a lot of fanfare and even as early as 10 o'clock this morning you had London at a bustle with activity of ceremony and the Archbishop as the Archbishop has to ordain the King and Crown 
coronate the king. So he's a, bit, a very busy man today. Uh, once upon a time, the Archbishop of Canterbury, a thousand years ago, wasn't such a safe job as it is today. As the uh, it, it was uh, quite a low life expectancy job, but um, that was a thousand years ago, and we're in the now. Uh, I'm going to ramble country as well, so I'll stay on point. The um, there was quite a few events going on in uh, where I live. I'm close to an area called the Pan Tiles, and unusually there was a town crier which we never, ever, in the three to four years I've been here, ever I've never seen such a thing. So. You know that that adds an extra something, I suppose. And strangely enough, there was a well that was going on, uh, which they've been doing work on for some time, which was they turned on, which was quite something to see. Uh, and a nice backdrop to it as well, because it was a market day, so it made that area feel more like a market town in mid in the middle of England rather than Tunbridge Wells. And yes, I have mentioned the area now, but uh, alas, you, you live in various areas and you you have your likes and dislikes about them. Um, I'll try and focus on the positive things about Tunbridge Wells, really, rather than the negative side of things. It's um, a far cheerier place than where I used to reside. I've uh, lived here for about three years and as things have changed quite a lot in the last three years but um back back to the point i think i wouldn't have wanted to have actually gone to the coronation because it's slapped back in the middle of london and it just would have been too many people to actually enjoy the occasion um, from a personal point of view I think the place to be today would definitely be Windsor Castle. This is north of the uh, north west of the M25, which is a massive motorway. I've, I have been to Windsor Castle before. Uh, when there's a flag at full mast, it no, normally means that there's a royal there, whichever one. It's a, it's a vast castle. If you ever get a chance to go, I would definitely suggest it. Unfortunately, it's not free, um, but you will you can pay a price and then use that ticket for the entire year, as I understand it. So, um, this is this is very true of quite a lot of uh, buildings in England that are owned by the state rather than uh, by the crown. For example, Dover Castle. That's if you ever get a chance to go there. That's great. Um, that's a really good example of a castle. This has turned into castles now, but castles are what the kings used to live in. So, to be honest, it's all worth a visit. Uh, also, with the Dover Castle, you also get um, the World War Two tunnels. Um, a side of the castle used during air raids and to cut to plan strategic stuff for that effort. Windsor Castle, on the other hand, is just vast. Um, the the only piece of advice I can give is do not annoy the bear. Well, the um, royal buffs because they will have you. Um, they're working soldiers they're on active duty when they're marching around they're not just pointlessly um, marching around for the sake of it they uh, they are very much an active service of the crown and they're very unwise just like with the um, marines that you get at war memorials in the states who, who do not take any nonsense from anyone um, bearing in mind they also have guns as well so it would be very unwise I mean they if they feel that you're in the way they will give you a very abrupt warning 
that they're coming through and just heed, heed that warning because otherwise you know the, these guys are the best of the best they're selected from various regiments because they've served with distinction and it is a great honour to be part of those duties they have a lot of ceremony in their duties with the true changing of the colour and this can be seen at Horse Guards Parade which is in central London near the palace. Buckingham Palace on the other hand is not so much a castle it's just a palace. Um, there are I've been I haven't actually been inside the palace but I believe you may they may have opened it up again. I would suggest visit all these places um, this uh, definitely worth it if you ever find yourself in England and you'd like to do something for the day. Um, as I always say, London has got a lot of things, but there's also a lot of places outside London, such as Windsor Castle, Dover Castle. Um, there is the um, Palace of Henry VIII, unfortunately, Elton Palace, but the uh, the castle side of the palace is on its foundations. There's, there's nothing left. It's more about the Georgian house. Please bear with me. Please like and subscribe. This is 4046 out, and thank you. Thank you for your subscribes in subscribing, even easy for me to say. And see you in the next.